Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, or good evening, depending on what time you're watching this video. Welcome again to another one of our seniors' workouts from home. In this week's sessions, we're going to be doing more of a mix of the whole body in each one of our three sessions this week. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. I'd like for you to stretch your feet nice and wide, uh, wide set, so wider than shoulder width if you can. We're going to fold our hip and bend the knee as much as you can, so it might be a little, it might be a lot. While you do that, I'd like for you to swing both arms to the right, give me that flex in the hips and the knees, swing the arms to the left, and then rise up. A fuller version of that might look like this, where I can go lower, or maybe I can't go as low, but I can reach more. I hope you're following along with me. And then the completest version would be a deep dip and more of a twist and more of a reach. So just do your utmost, do as much as you can. We're gonna tie some breathing in there. We're gonna breathe in as we swing the arms between our legs and then out as we reach and twist. Breathe in, breathe out. And while you're doing this, deep breathing, I still want you to pull your belly button in instead of letting the stomach out. Sometimes when we're taking deep breaths in, we can let the stomach out. But when you're trying to maintain some core tone, some tone in your core muscles to support your lumbar spine, you want to tuck the belly button in. It's called an abdominal brace. And I'll give you some more details on that another day. And last swing to the right and then the last swing to the left. Excellent. I'd like for you to reach out with your right arm only. I'd like for you to stretch it as far back as you possibly can. And then swing it forwards. And then stretch it as far back as you can. If you need to lower it a little bit, feel free to do so. And then send it forwards. And one more time, send it as far back as you can so you're stretching out your chest. And then release it. Now the same thing on the left arm. Swing it as far back as you can, hold it for a moment, squeeze the muscles on the back of the shoulder, and then send it forwards. Pull it all the way back again, take a deep breath in, and send it forwards. And once more, send it all the way back, and then send it forwards. Let's stand with your feet about shoulder width. I want you to slide your left hand down the left side of your thigh as low as you can go. Now it might be quite shallow or it might be quite deep. And then over to the right side. Manage according to your ability. Take a deep breath in and out. And in and out. We'll do that twice more on each side. In, out. In, out. And once more. In, out, and in, out. For the final movement for our warm-up, I want you to stretch your arms straight out. I want you to push the hips back. Keep your belly button tucked in so you have some good core strength. Lower as low as you can go. Once you hit your limit with your arms out stretch like this, I want you to send your hands down to your knees and continue to fold forwards. If you can't fold forwards, just hold the position. Keep your stomach braced in. Rise up, hands forwards and straighten the legs. We'll do that again. Hips back. Go as low as you can go. Hands to the knees. Lean forward as low as you can go. Hands back up to the knees. Hands forwards and rise up. We'll do that two more times. Taking your time. There's no rush. Whenever we do any squatting action, we'll do that one more time so you can see my knees. I don't want to see the knees come in. I always want you to work to keep those knees out. Keep nice open space. That's really important for your knees. Excellent. Now I'd like for you to grab a chair. We're going to do some balance work today. I won't use the chair, but um, if you do need it, I, I would actually keep it close to you uh, regardless of whether or not you think you need it. Maybe put it in front of you for this next one. So imagine I've got the chair in front of me. I'm going to rise up onto the balls of my feet. I'm going to take a side step to the left. It might be small, it might be large. You're going to choose what you can manage. Take the side step, bring the feet together, drop the heels down and repeat. We'll rise up and we'll go back over. If I held onto the chair, I just let my arm extend out. I want to move away from it. 
and then I'd, like it, I'd let it tuck in as I move back in. Okay, we're going to do this for multiples of two. This is two, four, all the way up to 20, six, lift the heels as high up as you can, eight, 10, 12, 14, take your time, 16, 18, 20. Good. Shake those legs out, shake the feet out. I'd like for you to hold the chair, use it for balance, extend your right leg out, just do some circles in a clockwise direction. We don't need to do many of them, just get the blood circulating in your ankles and in your feet. And then let's do some counterclockwise rotations with that foot. And then switch to the left foot. Try some clockwise rotations. And then let's say, uh, let's try some counterclockwise rotations. Okay, once again, I'm gonna want you to hold on to the chair. Maybe best if you hold on to the chair with both hands in front of you. I'll just hold on to it at my side. I want you to pick the balls of your feet up. I want to see the balls of both feet raise up at the same time. So we're on our heels and we're just going to shift our weight from our left foot to our right foot. If you want to raise the knees, pick the feet up a little higher, you can. If you want to just march on the spot like this and, and uh, just barely take the pressure off the heel, heck, you can keep both feet on the ground the whole time as long as you shift weight from one to the other or at least reduce pressure. We're going to do this in a multiple of three, starting from zero, three, six, nine, twelve. It's not so easy now that we get started. Eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty. Don't rest. We're going to count back from thirty. 27, keep the balls and toes of your feet up. Uh, 24, 21, 18, 14, or 15 rather, 12, 9, 6, 3, whew, and 0. Shake the left foot out, shake the right foot out. We'll do one more balance exercise, which also is a nice hip opener. You can hold onto the chair with your uh, with either hand. We're going to pick the left knee up and then drop it down. Then this is the important part. We're going to rotate the leg and pick it up so that our knees and toes face the wall on our left. Then we're going to drop it, bring the foot back to neutral, and raise it up again so that the knee faces forward. So we're going to count this in a multiple of four, starting from zero. Rotate, four, bring it back, eight, send it out, 12, and continue in that vein, 16, 20, and again, what you can do is make sure to 24, that if you can, can't raise your knee that high up, don't skip the exercise, 28, just raise the limb a little lower, 32, so not quite as high. 36, uh, and the last one is 40. You might want to move to the other side of your chair. We're going to count back from 40, doing the same thing with the right leg. Starting from 40, rotate the leg, lift it up. 36, tuck it back in. 32, and continue like that. 28, 24. I know you're using the chair, or you're probably using this chair, 20, but you, or oh, just touch it if you can, or just squeeze it, but don't, uh, that would have been 18, but don't lean into it. 24, 20, I hope I didn't just count multiples, uh, multiples of the same multiple, 16, 12, 8, 4, and zero. Wonderful. If you're close to a wall, you're going to want to go to a wall, maybe move the chair next to the wall, 
we're going to do the single leg squat. So for those of you who have not done it before, it looks like this. I'm going to stand close to the wall. Maybe you can keep both my feet about a half foot away from the wall to start. And then one of those feet is going to be staggered a little further away from the wall. I can either hold on to a chair for balance, keep it on my side, or I can put my hands on the wall. All I need to do is push my hips back and the wall catches me. So I don't have to worry about how low I can go before I rise back up. For those of you who want a more difficult version of that, although to date I haven't had anybody tell me they want a more difficult version, you can just do the, the, use the chair. So it looks like this. And we can all start counting whether you're using the wall or the chair. We can start counting this now. We're going to do it in a multiple of six, starting from zero. And we're starting with the right foot closer to the wall or closer to the chair. Six. The advantage of the wall is that it lets you do the movement without having to go as low. Twelve, so you can take your time, build up your strength in a given repetition range, a shorter range. Eighteen, and then as you get stronger, you can get further away from the wall and lower down a little bit more. Twenty-four. I think I managed to say all of that and stay on track with my counting today. 30, it's this beautiful sunny weather we have today. 36, 42, 48, 54, and 60. I know you'd like to do more on that leg, but I think I'm going to keep you from doing too many today. We're going to switch sides right away and count backwards from 60, so your left leg should be closer to the chair or to the wall this time. Take your time lowering down. We'll start at 60. You'll notice when I do these movements that I really focus on pushing the hips far back. 54. I, I do let my knee track forward a little bit, but not beyond the line of the toe. 48. 42, 36, 30, All right, we're getting close, halfway through, 24, 18, 12, 6, and 0. We'll rise back up. Okay, wonderful. I believe that you don't need to stand up for the next ones, so you might want to just grab your chair and make yourself comfortable. Have a seat. You'll want to use your rubber band. For those of you who don't have a rubber band, again, you can use a towel. I'd like for you to grab the band with your, your palms face up. Tuck the elbows in. Those of you who have a towel, you're just going to be trying to pull your hands apart while swinging them from right to left. Regardless, keep the elbows tucked into your sides. So hold your posture up. Try to tuck the belly button in just a little bit so you have some slight engagement of your abs. We're going to open and close the hands, and we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to spell the word confabulate, which should be appearing on the ceiling above me now. We'll spell it forwards and then backwards, starting from C. O, we'll do these at a moderate pa uh, pace. N, not fast, not slow. F. A. B. U. L, A, T, and E. Wonderful. Shake your arms out, shake your shoulders out, do some circles backwards, alternating left and the right. You don't have to do many. Now I'd like for you to grab the, game, the band again in the same fashion, except with your palms facing the floor rather than facing the ceiling. Tuck your elbows in. We're going to spell confabulate backwards, starting from E. Open that 
span between your hands, T, as much as you can without separating the elbows from your body, from your torso. That's A, L, U, B, A, F, N, I know you're feeling this by now, uh, N, <laughs> O, and C. That should be it. So you can go ahead and remove the band. We're going to finish our last exercise. We're going to do some more hip work. It's going to be a scissor action. So I'd like for you to lift the legs up as high up as you can. We're going to do this over under action. We're going to do, going to spell it or count a sequence of numbers. That sequence is seven, 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 six, 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 five, 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 and uh, seven. So let's do that going forward, starting from seven, seven. Try to hold good posture, seven. That was six, six, six. Try not to shrug, five. And tuck the belly button in, five. Again, so we're really thinking about our core structure and seven. Don't stop now. Spell that backwards from seven. Five. 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 Six. 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 Seven. Seven. And seven. Okay. You made it through the exercise portion of the session. But we're not done yet. We're going to finish with some coordination work with your bouncy ball. And I always say it, it doesn't have to be a lacrosse ball like I have. It can be a smaller rubber ball. It can be a bigger um, tennis ball or, um, or a basketball, whatever you've got that bounces. So today's going to be pretty simple. We're just going to be throwing it up in the air. I'd like for you to test the limit of how high up you can throw the ball. Probably the limit for most of us is, is, is the utmost limit will be the ceiling, but I'll bet you that you're not going to be able to throw it that high up and catch it consistently each time because I'm only going to ask that you catch it with one hand, not with both this time. So it would look like this. You don't have to do any additional tapping with your feet and you can keep your eye on the ball for this one. We're going to uh, count a multiple of seven. Right hand only. You can start shallow, but test your limit. See how up you can throw it, starting from zero, seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, and 70. Switch sides. We'll, we'll count backwards from 70. 63. Give yourself time to catch and reposition. 56. 49. 42. 35. 28. 21. 14. 7. And 0. I hope you were able to do that without dropping the ball too much. We're going to do one more to finish up the day. This is going to be uh, just a toss from right hand to left hand, but you're not allowed to look directly at the ball this time. So we'll look past it at a fixed point in the distance, so it's purely peripheral sight, and don't worry about throwing it too far. We'll make it 11 to finish the day, starting from 0, 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, 99, 100, 110, count back, 110, 99, 88, 77, 66, 55, 44, 33, 22, 11, and 0. Thanks everyone for joining me today for our session. I look forward to seeing you again in a few days time. Until then, stay active, stay healthy, and stay safe.